Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today because we are exploring the upper Underrail, and we got some bandits over there. Those guys are clearly aggressive. They are not yellow, they're red. And uh, I, I, I'm, it's, that's not a, it's not a thing that I'm saying about their race or anything, it's just their thingy. Uh, <laughs> you guys know what I mean. You guys know exactly what I mean, so shut up! Uh, anyway, I, I don't mean to berate you guys, I'm, I'm just joking. I am just joking. That guy, though, I don't enjoy that guy being there. It's not, it's not a thing I agree with. Just go away, man. Just not, don't be there. Come to me. Come to me, and I will shoot you in the face. Repeatedly, hopefully. Let's shoot you just once. For a little bit of damage and move back here, because I am not sure where they're coming from. There. Oh, hi! It's gonna block the path of the other dude. No, it's not! And the other dude is gonna throw a newer overload at my face, which is not good. I'm gonna throw a burst at their face, and that guy doesn't enjoy it. He said something. He said like, "Ouch! It hurts!" or whatever. Itai, itai. If he was, if he were Japanese, uh, although my Japanese accent there, for some reason, my Japanese accent accent there was terrible. I, I mean, I enjoy a fair bit of anime, and uh, I can't understand Japanese. I can't really speak it. I know a few words, quite a few words. After like upwards of hundred series that I've watched, it's it's good. I'm not a weeaboo, by the way. Is that a, is that a, is that what I'm what I'm thinking it is? I'm not one of those people that just say I don't know. Shimata. I actually I think I said that once <laughs> on a uh, on a video. Um, sometimes I do, but not not on public though because it's weird. Uh, but uh, you know, why would I be speaking Japanese in the middle of nowhere in front of people that don't speak Japanese and anyway? But yeah. Uh, I like I like um, Japanese animation. There's another band in there, and uh, that Itai right there. And again, it's weird. Where's my accent gone? I well, I haven't. I don't speak Japanese, so what do I know? But it's weird. I uh, it's just it's <laughs> today. Actually, speaking of of accents, that was nasty. That was really nasty. Speaking of accents, today what my boss asked asked me. Oh, Gubbins? What the hell kind of name is that, man? Uh, let me see what I can do about your gubbins. Is a melee, probably. Uh, by the way, I have a, a belt that allows me to uh, use health ipos and all that health, health equipment for very, very low action points. So there we go, perfect. Um, but yeah, today my boss asked me about something. I don't know what it was, but he said something like, "Is that what you need?" Ooh, oh, that was not his boss. Uh, it, it was, yeah, he said something like, "Is that what you need?" And I replied to him, "It is." In English. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, by the way, if you're joining me, if you don't know who I am or what I'm talking about right now, uh, what is, oh, I don't have ammo. Uh, that's fine, should be okay. Uh, yeah, I'm Portuguese, and I work and live in Portugal, so that was quite weird, but apparently he understood what I meant somehow, or maybe he thought I was saying, oh, this guy and his grenades, I hate him. Um, yeah, but he might have thought that I was saying something in, in Portuguese, because there are words that can be, can be, Oh, I'm gonna die here. It's not good. It's not good. Can I? No, nope, this guy is bad. Can they attack me from there? Mm, it's really nasty. This guy. Well, I can shoot him from here. Some. I'm not sure why he's not shooting at me or what. Oh, I can't shoot him from here. Well, in that case, let me see what I can do about this guy. I can kill him. You're pathetic. I'm not pathetic. You're dying in my at my hand, so you're pathetic. Can I take over here? Maybe. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's all the English I'm, t I'm saying all the time. It's, it just makes me react in English. <laughs> I, I, talk, I, I think I said this before. I talk more in English than I do in Portuguese, even though I, even though I live in Portugal. And it's just my work doesn't require me to talk too much, so. Oh, that is what it is. Okay, so I am really... Oh, you know what? I should really do this. I am so dumb. There we go. That's what a shield is for. Dumbass. Ugh. Uh, let's see what I can do about this guy. But there we go. There we go. Death comes to those who attack me, as it should. Did I reload the other weapon? I think I did. On combat as well. Yes, I did. Let's see what they had. Hopefully a lot of good stuff. I think one of those guys has a nice, nice, uh, armor. What do we have here? Tungsten steel armor for... It's not anti-bullet. It is a very nice armor, though. It's very, very nice, but it's just not as good as I want it to be. If it is an anti-bullet, it's... Not up to scratch. I mean, I don't know. I like how the game 
how the game has uh, different armors for different occasions, for different characters as well. If you're a melee guy, you probably are gonna want some melee uh, armor or stuff like that. Uh, excuse the hiccup. Uh, but yeah, I like I like oh a lot of stuff disappearing right there. I don't know what that is. I really don't understand what that is. I need to drop stuff. I think. Let's check this barrel. Some gasoline. Give me fuel. Fuel? Give me fuel. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. And it's one of those things. One of those old school words that I say I've been saying ever since I was a kid. Because I'm a Metallica fan, or I was a Metallica fan. I mean, I don't listen to them too much lately. I'm just trying to see if I, there's anything here that I want to drop. No, not really. Okay, we're all good. Um, but yeah, fuel is the, how I said fuel. Because I didn't know English back then. When I started to listen to Metallica, Quake, the head of this hammer is designed so that it begins to vibrate as it swung. That is a nice hammer, but uh, it's very heavy and not very expensive. Uh, so let's get the hell out of here without that hammer. Medical supplies right there, which is perfect. Reminds me that I need some of these. What, where are we? Is this? What is this? There's gonna be a trap here that's gonna kill me. I should save the game. A lot of experience. We're getting a lot of experience, guys. This is really good news. A lot of experience. We're gonna get to the next level in no time. I was really not expecting that. I think I said it on camera as well that I was not expecting to level up too soon. But there we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Uh, but yeah, another word, for example, that uh, that I've learned up saying is Tomb. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. The game. Yeah, Tomb Raider. Of course, I I was when was the first time I played Tomb Raider? I think it was uh, I was hmm trying to think. So it was a my ninth grade, no seventh grade. So I must have been I must have been twelve or thirteen, probably twelve. Yeah, twelve. I was twelve when I first played Tomb Raider. And um, if you've been listening to me, you know what that what kind of significance that game has has had on my life. Uh, as weirdly as it that sound, it's just nothing to do with the gameplay, of course, it's just weird. But anyway, I'm not gonna get into that particular story, but I, I sell. I know where this leads to, there's a castle register. Can I open that? Where are- oh, I know where I am. No, I don't know where I am. I think I- hmm, I've been here, though. I'm just going to the left, because this has been thoroughly checked, I do believe, yes, and this one bar from the other side. Okay, so we're good. We're going well. We're doing well. Um, so yeah, Tomb Raider, I used to say Tomb Raider. Yeah, that's how I said that. And even today, if I'm trying to say that word, it's gonna come out as Tomb rather than Tomb. So like, oh, let's raid that Tomb. Eh? No, no, wait a minute. That's not how it said it. That's not how it said. So, yeah. One of those things. I guess if you guys... If you guys are not native speakers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You have very similar experiences <clears throat> in that regard, anyway. Oh, there's blood over there. What does that mean? Is this in the, it's in the tracks, though? Huh. Interesting. It stops here for some reason. Should I check in here? I think I will. Hmm. Oh, hi! No, 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 this is bad. They're gonna throw a grenade at my face right now. If they don't... Then I know I'm fine, but otherwise, are they cooking somebody? They are cook. They are. They are cannibals, aren't they? They gotta be. I mean, if they have a cauldron that size, of course they're gonna be cooking a beep person. Nope. Death. Oh, not too bad. Oh, that's bad. That is. Oh, we missed. They didn't. Yeah. Don't oh, I survive that? How the hell did I survive that? Um. Uh, well, we'll pull this one out. We are definitely gonna pull this one out for sure. Okay. So let's try and fix this guy's face. Uh, actually, I don't need to use this. I don't need to risk not being able to kill him with that gun. There we go. That wasn't too good, but, well, I saved enough action points to move back here. And since this guy is no threat at all, because he's got, I think, a, probably a, a 5 or 7.62 millimeter SMG, it should be more than okay to take care of that girl over there. I think it's a girl. Could be a guy. Oh, they both died. Perfect. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for better. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I did waste some of my, uh, some of my nice, uh, health hypos, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's see what they had. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna, oh, I was just gonna say, see, I got, again, the double kick. I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna stop taking the flares, because there's no point. I don't use them anymore. I, I, I don't think I ever used them. I think I used it, oh, again? That double click thing, it's just weird. 
I don't know what that is. And flies as well. What is that? Are you, why are you guys, what are you guys cooking? Poo? Some poo soup. Mm, nom, nom. This is very... Nom, 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 nom. I don't know. I don't know what to say about poo soup. I never had poo soup. Although I think it's my... I think it is made. Uh, there's a soup that is made of poo. Uh, and it's actually here in Europe. But I might be wrong about that. I think I've heard about it once. So maybe it was just... BS. <laughs> not not the BS in the soup that I'm talking about. It's not... Yeah, just... Yeah. But I think it is. I think it's made out of... Um, well, I know there's something made out of... Uh, I don't know the name of the bird. But there's a bird that makes... Uh, that makes its nests in a... Oh, we are in the protectorate area. That's nice. Um, who, the, who the hell was that? Why did you do that to me? Why are you making... Oh, it's a Goliath online. Channel open. Oh, we got a Goliath in here. It's not a Goliath, I know. Can I go in there? No, it's locked. Can I talk to the guys or something? Man, that guy is annoying as crap. I apologize, guys, for the loud noises. Welcome to Fort Apogee. Oh, this is where we get the quest. Where we will, we would have gotten the quest for the uh, renegades that we killed. Let's see if we can get into there or something. Can that guy shut up? That guy is going to be so annoying. I lost my train of thought as well. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the... the oh. Hi. Mm-hmm. What is that? A dreadnought? I want one of those. Are, can I wear? Is that a robot or is that a, an armor? It looks like an armor. I, I want the, one of those. Hey, man. The guard motions you to stop before addressing you. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna, not gonna forget about the, the tail about the, the, the bird and its nest. Uh, hold it right there, citizen. You are about to enter under real protectorate territory, and medicines is not allowed without proper clearance. Therefore, I must ask you to state your business here. What is this place? This is Fort Apogee, citizen. The headquarters of uh, uh, all of all under rail protectorate operations in South Under Rail, as well as the location of the uh, United Stations Consulate. Can, so, what does the consulate do? Are you in need of Underreal Protectorate's protection? The Consulate offers protection to all citizens of United Stations members. You would need to show me your papers, though. Yeah, well, is Southgate Station a member of the United Stations? Afraid not. Okay, what is this place? Oh, I've heard that already. Uh, so, let me ask you something else. I I took a wrong turn. Bye-bye, man. I, I do wish I, I will be able to get my hands on a Dreadnought armor. Because that looks sweet. Um, so, I came through there. Right? I'm not lost, am I? I don't think I am, but just in case I am, let me go there and talk about, yeah, th there's a soup or something that's made out of the nests of a specific bird. And I know for a fact that that bird uses cow excrement for its nests, which is relatively clean, come on, it's not the end of the world, and it's probably boil or whatever, but cows, they, well, if they are proper sane cows that are take, taken care of and all that. They don't really carry that many diseases. It's not like rats or whatever. It's just like, they, if they get diseases, they die or they're put down. So, yeah. Basically, that's not the worst thing in the world. That said, I have never tasted that soup and I don't really like soup, so... Well, I do like soup. It's just the soup I ate is always terrible and made without passion and love, so it's always terrible. If, you, if you're making food and you don't like what you're making, you're gonna make terrible food. And uh, I say that ever, ever, having never... I cooked stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how to cook though. I I can't say I can't cook. So it's just I I will just shut up. I can make some fries. I can make some rice uh, by hand, not on the machine. On the machine is easy. By hand is a little bit trickier. My rice is terrible though. Don't eat it. It'll make you sick and ill, physically ill. Don't don't. Yeah, rice is terrible. I once made what's it called? Not it's not pancakes. I'm not sure if it's I, it's a food that we have here. We call it something. I don't know what. It's like uh, so basically it's uh, egg. Flour, uh, you got a little bit of um, cod, you know, just cod. But it's a special, co s special sort of cod that we in Portugal have. I have never. I, mm, I'm gonna take a grenade to the face. I am really, really. I'm, <laughs> I'm loving talking to you guys about this all this nonsense. Uh, but yeah, the, basically, I don't know the name of that thing. We call it patanishka. But that means nothing to you if you don't speak Portuguese. But anyway, uh, I once done that. It's basically dough, and uh, you just fry it. And uh, I, I, I cooked that, and I fried it so badly, it's, I don't know if I, it was because it was too hot, the, the, the flame or whatever, but it was so tough, that the dough got so tough on the outside, and, and just, it was amazingly tough, you, need, you needed like a sledgehammer to cut that thing, a normal kitchen knife would not have, do, would not do it, it's just, I, it wasn't possible, and uh, on the inside it was totally 
Raw. It was amazingly bad what I had just done. I was like, what the hell have I just done with my life right here with this dough? My mom had, um, well, she learned her lesson, though. She definitely learned her lesson. She never let me cook again. Uh, I'm going there because I need to heal. This guy, oh, he's got fatigue. Why do you have fatigue? Oh, he probably, he probably cast a spell or something. Or an ability or whatever. It's all good. Um, but yeah, I made that. I don't really cook. After all that nonsense, I don't really cook. But, fish. I don't like fish. And I think the reason why I don't like fish, I can eat fish if I'm in a restaurant and if it's made properly. But I think the reason why I don't eat fish is that people just look at fish as if it's... Well, over here in Portugal, a lot of people... If it's just like penance, basically. Penance, penance is the word. It's actually... It is. Uh, before, I think it's Easter. Uh, before Easter, there's like a period of 40 days, or I think it's every s Friday or something. I don't know. It's, I am not religious, so I I don't really know that those customs. But there's a period where people are not allowed to eat meat. So basically it's their religion, it's fine. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not don't don't look at me right now as if I'm trying I'm, I'm complaining. But it's just that I think that that mindset is somehow ingrained to the mind of everyone that because they don't eat meat, they eat fish. So fish is like a penance to them because it's supposed to be a penance. Uh and I agree with them. Fish is terrible. Fish is um um terrible. Well I look I like some salmon and there's a few fish that I enjoy but it's just I don't know. You know what? Actually, I can't. why can't I shoot? Oh, I can't. It's bad. Well, let's activate this thing. Um, and let's kill this guy. Nope. Didn't kill that guy. Let's activate this thing then. Because I, it's not going to protect against his uh, new roll overload, but it's going to protect against his dazed uh, cast or whatever. Oh. Yeah, doesn't protect against that one. He casts a projectile that it protects against, but not the other one. So it's all good, though. Damn it. Why can't I use this weapon? I'm tackled, it's, yeah, it's, I'm tackled, okay. Uh, yeah, but I think, because people think of fish as something that you just bear with, and just, you know, let's eat this thing, because we gotta, because we gotta eat, we gotta eat something, uh, I think they don't make fish with the sort of love that meat is made out, ma made with. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Just there's bones, and they, people leave the bones, and they leave the, uh, like the, the scales, I mean, don't leave the scales, but this is like a tiny skin that most fish had, has. So basically, it's usually black. I, I don't know what, I, I, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, but yeah, it's basically, it's not nice. It's, I don't enjoy it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I know a lot of people like fish. Uh, not so much here in Portugal, but I know a lot of, a lot of countries all over the world um, have amazing fish dishes. And I do enjoy sushi, I enjoy... Uh, what's the other one? Uh, the, the the actual that's just raw fish. I like it because it's made with love. It's made because it's amazingly good. It's tastes so good because people know how to make fish. I mean, I'm not saying that people here in Portugal don't know how to make fish. Just my family doesn't. And the same goes with soup. They don't think as soup of soup as something that's really good to eat. It's just like this is good for you. Eat this. And I'm like, nah. I don't like. It. Ever since I was a kid, I don't like it. But it's not my fault. It's the soup's fault. It's terrible. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Grandpa. Uh, Grandma, sorry. My grandpa never cooked. Um, not once in his entire life. Amazing. And neither, both of my grandpas never cooked. Man, it's these guys. Talk about um, exploring, exploration of the woman. Well, it's a different time, I suppose. Or the wife, I should say, not the woman. Uh, but yeah, it's the times. It's the times. Oh boy, this couple, of, last couple of episodes have <laughs> taken a weird turn to uh, talk about stuff. We're just exploring, it's all fine. It's all good. And uh, that's, that kind of ties into what I was talking about last episode, about um, learning to talk and play at the same time. Because I don't do this if I'm doing something important. And you know what? I think I got lost. I know where I am. Let's, come, let's go back. Let's make sure that this is not a dead end. Okay, yeah, I got lost. I shouldn't have gone there. So this is the way. Can you hear? There's a train in the background. I don't think that's by mis I don't think that's a coincidence. Yeah, the soundtrack in this game is pretty awesome. It's very subdued, but I like that. I like that. I'm a big fan of um, Matt Morgan. The um, Matt Morgan. I'm not mistaking the names. I hope. Uh, the, yeah, the composer of uh, Fallout, uh, the uh, Fallout 1 and 2 soundtrack, and also for New Vegas, I think he is. 
uh, and also for Wasteland 2. He's done a few games. Uh, I mean, lately, I, I actually have a little criticism about Matt Morgan. I'm pretty sure he didn't do the soundtrack for this one. But he's a great guy. He's a fantastic guy. If you know him, oh, I don't know him personally, but if you know him personally, then you know for sure what I'm saying right now. He's a really great guy, and you can tell that from, from all that he does in, pub, in public. Um, and he just, I don't know. It's, uh, I have a criticism for him. It's just that he relies too much on the same sounds. You can t I'm not sure if it's... Oh, hi. Oh, that's bad. Okay, that wasn't too terrible. It was actually kind of terrible. Um, let's see. Can I shoot you in the face and then move away? Is that a thing? Nope. Ah, that one didn't go too bad. Let's go. Yeah, but if you listen to Wasteland 2's soundtrack, for example, you can... that guy had to heal. You really had to heal, didn't you? Son of a gun. Uh, let's see what I can do. Get away. No! Another grenade! How many of you are there? And a critical on top of that? Okay, we can't really mess around with this. Yeah, but if you listen to um, Whistlin' 2's soundtrack, you're, you're gonna be able to tell quite a, f of the, quite a few of the sounds that were um, in the original Fallout 1 and 2 soundtrack. And, and again, I'm not saying that um, it, might, it might be a, a thing just that, you know, the, de the developers or the producers asked them to, you know, get a little bit of those sounds from Fallout. Because the soundtrack in Fallout 1 and 2 is pretty amazing, and I listen to it actively, just the soundtrack, every once in a while. I do that for a few games. Uh, usually old games. The last week I was doing it for Baldur's Gate 1. I really like the soundtrack for the original game. The sound, the second one, that's from Iron Zura, I think. The uh, ba ba the soundtrack from Baldur's Gate 1. And I, I, I like Iron Zura. I think he's... I don't know. I don't really know what, what to say about that. Because music is such a tough business that I don't really know if it's lack of imagination when somebody's doing the same thing. Like, for example, in Matt Morgan's case. Or if it's just... That they were asked to do that because it's the business and it's not artistically, art artistically, uh, they don't have the freedom that maybe they want to have. I don't know, it's just, Iron Zur has gotten a little bit stale for me lately. Is that Iron Zur? Isn't that guy from, from, uh, Elder Scrolls though? I think it is. Oh, so who's the, oh, yeah, uh, uh, uh for, for Baldur's Gate, it's, um, uh, I know the name of the guy. Oh, damn it, I, but I'm, I'm forgetting it right now. Where are we? Oh. Oh, this is an, another metro station here. Looks like one, anyway. Let's check these things. Computer ranks, let's see what we get. Hopefully something interesting. Apparently not. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, Jeremy Soul. Okay, so Jeremy Soul is from... Uh, from um, <laughs> I'm saying this as if I'm checking my second screen for <laughs> on the internet, but you guys know that I'm not because I'm playing the game. Um, yeah, but uh, Jeremy Soul is the guy from uh, Elder Scrolls, and I think... Uh, and Iron Zur is, is the one from Baldur's Gate, and I and he's done a lot a lot of games from Bioware. We got lunatics here. Why the hell didn't I kill you guys already? Ugh. And uh, knee cap shot. Come on. Okay, you're gonna die. Oh no. Ouch. I'm immune to burns. Yeah, I don't care about your stupid notions of what's cool. I will wear a pink cap all day long, and nobody has to say anything against it because pink. Oh, I don't like pink. I, yeah, I don't like pink. I was gonna say pink is awesome, but nope. No, it's not. I, well, <laughs> I just said, nope, if you like pink, you are terrible, but no, no, it's fine. I uh, just, I don't enjoy the color. My, you guys know that my favorite color, what my favorite colors are. Yeah, but pink. I guess pink, like if it's a really flashy pink, it will go well on some things, and if it's a really subdued pink, it will also go well in a, a few other things. It depends on the context and all of that. I mean, not, not, it's not anything to do with the connotations that it has. Pink is actually a pretty interesting color. I learned this the other day. I didn't read an article about it or anything. A friend of me of mine uh, was talking to me about it. That apparently, uh, if pink is, if you paint, like, if you have a shop, uh, like, I don't know, custom service uh, shop, and, uh, yeah, if you work in that or whatever, it's, you just have pink around. If you have pink around, like, walls or whatever, let's take the ammo here. I don't really need it, but... Ever since this, the scare of the start of the game, I, I like ammo. Um, but if you have pink around, like if you paint the walls pink, uh, people are way less likely. It's, I think it's really, really, uh, really, really drastic difference. They're way less likely to be rude to you. And uh, that probably connects. It's basically a, an instinct or something. I don't know. Probably something to do with... Uh, I don't know. This it, it applies to men and women alike. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's... 
It's like uh, I'm a big fan of Top Gear as well, and I, I remember one of the uh, one of the episodes when they talk about uh, feminine words decreasing the speed or decreasing the um, I don't know pheromone levels in, in men or whatever, and just like yeah, uh, decreasing the speed uh, of when when you're driving, and um, and that probably has something to do with that as well. It's a good thing. Oh, nice! It's, yeah, I was gonna say it was a good thing that I could ch burst with a weapon, even though I was I am uh, chilled. But it's all cool. I'm chill. I'm chill. Yeah. So if pink has those uses, I'm totally fine with pink being over there. And just, if I'm if I'm in a place that I get frustrated, oh, speaking of which, maybe I should get something pink for my work computer. Something I don't know, like a mug, a pink mug. Oh, I'm never gonna hear the end of it. <laughs> oh boy, you must think that my boss is terrible. Um. Uh, I didn't save. Can you please not kill? Me? Thank you for not. That was dumb, dumb. Man. What the hell? Why did you do that? Come on! Right at the end of the episode is. Oh, I did. Did I save? I did. Hi. Hello. Can I kill you guys without you killing me back? Hmm. Yeah, but I should. I should get a pink something for my work computer or something. Because if that will allow me, this guy is. He's probably has a brawler. I don't want him here. I'd rather kill him r f first than the other guy. Yeah, the other guy didn't die, but well, that it is. He's gonna heal himself and let's see what he does. Hi. Can you? Nope. Cryokinesis. And if Pink allows me not to, gra to get so stressed or upset, basically, then it's an amazing color. And I will change my opinion about Pink, but before that, orange for the win. And let's. I reloaded that just in time. We got a barber. <laughs> what a mean barber! Never going to your shop, man. If you keep acting, acting like that. What a mean son of a gun. Is he gonna cast another one? What the hell is he doing? Oh, I'm gonna die again? I died again. Hmm. I'm talking about pink. It's all. It's what I'm doing. I need, I need to talk about black. Yeah, black is commonly known as the uh, most, I think it's the most uh, aggressive or most possessive color or, that there is, or something of the sort. Uh, I'm not really sure how that goes, but I, I, I read somewhere a few, a long time ago, that uh, if you, if, like, if you like black, then that means that you're probably somebody that uh, likes to lead and likes to take things into his own hands and all that sort of stuff, but I don't know the meaning of that. That guy, though. That guy over there needs to die, so let's see what I can, what the meaning of that is. Hopefully I'm not gonna miss, and of course I miss, so terrible things coming our way. Let's not even bother standing here. No, it's, it's not gonna go well. I need to reload again. And actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna do it off camera. It's about time to say goodbye for today, and uh, these guys are giving me a little bit of trouble, unfortunately. But ah well, what's a game without a challenge, huh? Otherwise, it's not a game at all. It's just you seeing what happens. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Under Rail. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it, and I, I always do hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.